Rocket acceleration on ground strokes has quickly become an essential ingredient in any competitive player's toolbox. The mysterious heavy ball is hit with a combination of speed and spin, both created with a fast swinging racket head. A few months back, I knew it was time for 12-year-old Kalindi to start accelerating more on her top spin ground strokes. Here's how she got the feel for it, quickly and painlessly. I simply had her hit a bunch of balls with her little finger off the bottom of the grip. Within a few shots and a little encouragement, she started swinging faster, getting more ball rotation and hitting harder than ever. At first, a little control was lost, but she understood it was temporary. The next step was to alternate. Listen in as she calls out, finger on, and then finger off. Her goal is to hit both ways with similar results. If you find your junior still holding back from swinging freely, here's another tip. Use a racket with no strings. The idea is for Kalindi to swing freely without fear of missing so the ball passes through the empty racket face. The next step was to alternate rackets. Her goal is to maintain the same swing with and without a strung racket. Another key ingredient to racket acceleration is shoulder and upper body coiling and uncoiling. To help her feel this rotation, we use a device called the forehand rotator that connects both arms across the back to increase shoulder rotation. Try using kinesthetic training aids like this one 10 to 15 times and then remove the device so the player can feel the action on his or her own. The third and final ingredient to increase racket acceleration is to better use ground forces. This time, to speed up the feel for a lower playing height, we will use the Flex Trainer Resistance Bands. This tool forces her into a lower playing height, which immediately increases ground forces to further add racket acceleration. Again, after a dozen or so forehands, we remove the device for Kalindi to focus on maintaining that same amount of flex on her own. The final stage of this progression to increase racket acceleration is to use both of these tools at the same time. Take a look. Now Kalindi is getting a double dose of a good thing. These tools are designed to improve a player's kinesthetic awareness or feel for using their whole body as a unit. Then, without the devices, she focuses on maintaining that same amount of lower body flex, upper body rotation, and racket acceleration all on her own. Not bad for a 12-year-old who has only played tennis for about two and a half years.